Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here is my follow-up video on Android 15 QPR1 Beta 2. Today I will show you the hidden features I spotted after using this build for a few days so without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the most exciting feature which you can find under settings and then battery and you will notice here that the adaptive charging menu is now called charging optimization when you go inside you will see adaptive charging that we used to have in addition to the ability to limit the charging to 80 percent which will extend your battery lifespan and this is something all other manufacturers offered for a very long time and we finally got it with android 15. i also spotted this neat feature after activating the limit to 80 percent option if your phone is already above 80 percent then you plug the charger you will see a new shield icon on top of the battery to let you know that your charger is blocked to save your battery from overcharging above 80 percent the second change i noticed is the redesigned discover feed i'm not sure if it's a coincidence or this is something related to this build but anyways here is how it looks on android 14 you will notice here that each article now has its own container and it floats over the background and instead of filling the entire width Plus, we no longer have these horizontal separators, but you will see a small gap between articles. In my opinion, it looks much better than before. Even the cards at the top has a different look when compared to the previous version. So let me know in the comments which one you like more. Now let's move on to the sound and vibration panel. You will notice this new spatial audio toggle. If you have the Pixel Buds Pro that supports the feature, tapping on it will expand into a small overlay card that will allow you to turn off the feature, set it to fixed or activate the head tracking. And once you finish your selection, you can tap on the X and it will show you this fill color to indicate that the feature is activated. Change number four is in the quick settings brightness slider. You will notice here when I drag my finger over it, you will see a shaded dot exactly at the center that works as a reference for the 50% mark. I also spotted a couple of new animations in this build. The first one is in the split screen view and for reference here is Android 14 on the left. Take a look here at this animation when I swap the windows. It doesn't only look different but it replaces the app preview with the app icon only and on android 14 the animation is flat plus it doesn't replace the app preview while transitioning while here it's totally different the second animation is in the wallpaper and the style app you'll notice here when i change the color palette that the animation on android 15 is different it has this kind of a glowing dot at the center that expands to the entire screen which doesn't exist in android 14. one more change i spotted in gboard on top of the ones i mentioned in my previous video is the most relevant suggested word in the suggestions strip gets highlighted in bold which is not the case on android 14. and the last change i'm going to show you is something i missed to mention in my previous video when you cast your phone's screen you will see the same pill of the screen recorder here at the top left that shows the time and when you tap on it it will allow you to stop the casting as well so that's it when it comes to the features now let's talk about the performance i didn't spot any performance issues while filming this video the apps open instantly and the scrolling is pretty good but the phone is slightly warmer than usual and now let's take a look at the geekbench score numbers after a fresh install of qpr1 beta 1 i got a multi-core score of 4000 and a single core score of 1500 but after using the same qpr1 beta 1 for a while the multi-core score became noticeably less at 3500 and after installing qpr1 beta 2 now the score is 3800 and 1700 for the single core so overall the numbers are not consistent and the performance is not bad but all i can say is the phone is warmer than expected so if you're already using qpr1 beta 2 please let me know in the comments about your performance and battery so that's pretty much it for today those are all the hidden features i wanted to show you in qpr1 beta 2 please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.